D-Block Express. Fuck is good, man. This video is about Canelo. The quote-unquote pound-for-pound number one in the sport. See, I have a problem with that. If you're going to call somebody the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the sport, I have to make sure that he is the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter. You know, a lot of people... A lot of people want to claim their fighter is the number one. You know, you know how they do. But then you ain't got you ain't got the accolades behind you to prove it, right? Canelo was at 154. He didn't fight either of the Charlos when they were at 154. Canelo moved up to 160. Charlo moved up to 160. Andre's at 160. Didn't fight anybody there. Andre said he's moving up to 168, which is great news. He should have did this a while ago. And we know Better B sits at the top at 175. So, um, what you gonna do, man? And I figured it out. I figured it out a long time ago. I just ain't put it on video, but I'm, I'm gonna put it on video now for y'all. The problem with Canelo. Yes, the problem. And no, he's not pound for pound king. The pound-for-pound pound king is still Terrence Crawford. Yes, it's hard to make that argument, but Crawford is the best fighter in the world. I don't care who you put to, second, whatever. That's why I'm in the sport in the first place. I'm only here to find out who the best is. I can give a fuck about your outside activities, man. We only want to know who the best is. That's it. We want the best to fight the best. So when it comes to Canelo, the problem with Canelo is, yes, he's a beast. He's a monster. You know, my man, my man, Calm was 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 looking up at the stars, player. <laughs> Quiet, lights on, but nobody to fuck home, right? Seriously, Canelo's a beast. He stopped the undefeated Austin Trout. We know Trout nowadays isn't what we thought he was, right? But, and then you lost to the pound for pound, shit, the best fighter of all time. You lost to Floyd. Now, look, the problem with Canelo is we fans think he's a monster, right? We think he's a, he's, he's, he's a problem, right? Canelo we talking about. Canelo Alvarez. But the problem is I don't think. I don't think Canelo thinks he's a problem. I don't think Canelo believes he's the pound for pound king, right? It's like, no matter how good I think you are, if you don't believe you're that good, then who gives a fuck how, how, how much I think you're that good? You see what I'm saying? Like Canelo, you have to believe it yourself that you're the best and then go prove it. I don't think Canelo's scared. No, it's not scared, okay? There's a big difference. It's just, I don't think I'm the best. I've already lost. See, losing is already in Canelo's mind, right? Don't wanna go down that road again. It wasn't that hard of a fall because you lost to the best of all time. But the fact is, you lost. So in your mind, you know, deep down, since you lost, you're not the best. You see what I mean? No disrespect to those who have lost the greats of all time. I understand all that. But you you lost? You're not as good as I might have thought you were. You see what I'm saying? Still think Canelo was a monster. I would love to see Canelo versus Andre because Andre was sloppy at one point. Sloppy as hell, right? Just, just just disgusting out there. I, I was very embarrassed to be a fan of Andrade recently. Long layoffs, you know. So, to fight Andrade, to beat an undefeated Andrade, it, it, there's, there's really not much you can say. To beat the undefeated Charlo, both of them, you can go to 154, man. If you can hit 160, you can go to 154. Why? You can come in at 159. 
and then blow up after. So you can still fight Jamal. You can fight Jamal. We're crying for you to fight Jamal. And now Andre, or better Beef. Talking about if, if, if you beat this guy, there's only going to be another one. Well, beat this guy then. Okay? Because there was a difference with Floyd. We said, Floyd, man, you ain't beating Mosley. You don't fight black fighters. Remember people saying that? For Mosley. Mosley was calling out Pacquiao at the time. Pacquiao said no. Pacquiao said, I'll go down to 142 to fight you. Mosley said, I can make 143. Pacquiao said no. That's the truth. Go do your research. I've been here longer than any of you motherfuckers. Don't tell me. I know it. I've been watching Canelo way before you motherfuckers. <laughs> so don't tell me about the best fighter in the world. I know who the best. That's the only reason why I watch the motherfucking sport. It's the only reason why I watch boxing. I just want to see who the best is. If you lose, you're not, at, you're, you're not the best. You're still a great fighter. You're just not the best of all time. D-block. And I'm out this bitch.